Good evening, everybody. I'm done with work. I already ate dinner. We're ahead of schedule. Uh, today, I just have to brag about the accomplishment. It really has nothing to do with me and my coworker, but everything to do with the fact that we are like two weeks removed from New Year's Eve, which is obviously a big gathering holiday, um, which obviously spreads COVID. So super happy because I have no outstanding calls on my list. So tomorrow when I come to work, um, I won't have like 50 calls like waiting to be made, which is, I mean, I guess I could, but a lot of people would have to get sick over the next 12 hours for that to happen. Uh, so I'm super, super pumped. We haven't had this like kind of catch up, if you will, since Oh gosh, before Halloween. So this is awesome. Though my coworker did make a good point that the Super Bowl is another one of those gathering type events. So I guess we could see a small spike from that, but crossing our fingers since football doesn't seem to be as big of a deal this year that maybe it won't be that big of a spike. But little update on Hawaii. Um, my dad just called me and told me that the search he had for a villa of one of his came available, but then when he went to book it, it was no more. So um, he was going to call the place and find out. So hopefully I'll have some news about that soon. And then Alani actually has a 40% off deal for DVC members. Um, which is more than the 30% um, that they have anyway for just like a regular promotion. So we would get be able to do both, which means we can still go. So more to come on that. Hopefully we have some news tonight and other news. I applied for a few jobs today. I had posted on Facebook asking my friends for some advice because like I'm not even just looking in a certain industry, I'm just looking in general, but it is so hard to find a job right now. So found a couple that came available and we'll see what happens. Okay, friends, the last like hour and a half has just been sort of chaos, but the good news is we are booked for Alani. I'm literally in shock that it worked out. I mean, I thought it was gonna work out, but I thought it was gonna be easy. You know, we'd book with DVC, we'd be great. But anyway, we are booked. Um, we're gonna stay at Alani for the first part of the trip because of the, the resort actually booked up since we started talking about it. So um, we have four nights there and then two nights somewhere else. And I'm gonna take care of that. Right now I'm gonna see if any um, any vendors have travel agent discounts available. If not, I have Marriott and Hilton points left over from when I was doing my traveling job. But the hard part is over. So relief, excitement, and Duncan will be home soon and he has no idea what just happened. Look who's home. Duncan. Going to Hawaii. Woo. I was just telling him all about. I haven't even told him like the whole drama. He doesn't even know what you guys know yet. Yeah. Drama. Yeah. I'm telling you, I didn't really do much productive. <laughs> but... <coughs> but now I've ordered some swimsuits, so there's that. And we got gadget. And yes. My dogs have been wearing spirit jerseys for three days. Yeah, at least three days. <laughs> we'll have to wash them. Because <laughs> they're going to be stinky mm -hmm. like a puppy. She's like, how rude. It's okay. You're a puppy. You're allowed to stink. <laughs> um, so, I don't know if you guys watch. Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist, but if you don't and you like music, you should watch this. And it is episode two of season two, and we are very pumped.
Friday, I almost said December, January 15th, The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid and its underwater setting used more special effects than any Disney animated movie since Fantasia. Fun facts. I'm stretching. Is nighttime yoga a thing? Yes. Is it? Sure. <laughs> Restful yoga. Mm. I would, I would, I should look into that. So, Disney stuff today. One, no update on what this Muppets thing is. It's Muppets doing Hamilton. Do you think that for sure? No. Um, Pipe dreams. But we wanted to come talk about the next big Disney news, which is Disneyland eliminating annual passes. Chaos. Yeah. I actually am... My mind is a little blown. I've always kind of thought that Disneyland was going to do something like that, specifically Disneyland, not Walt Disney World, just because of the sheer insanity of locals that go there. Like, living in Orlando... The volume of locals. Yeah, I mean, it's more people. local. It's a locals park versus Walt Disney World, which is a vacation destination. And it's just totally different. If you haven't been to Disneyland before, it's significantly smaller. Everything is... I mean, quite literally, everything is... Squished. Squished. And, like, Disneyland can, like, fit in side of Magic Kingdom's parking lot. Like, it's so compact. I'm not kidding about that, by the way. But now, they haven't announced what is going to happen, because clearly they want the local support. They're going to need the local support, especially if California sticks with the... You can't travel there. Yeah, so... I mean, if, because didn't they say that originally the proposal was you could only go to Disneyland if you were in like if a you lived within 60, a certain amount of 60 mile radius certain, or something? Yeah. So they need people to have annual passes. You can't just cancel people's annual passes and expect them to just pay full price day every tickets. day. Yeah. So I'm sure they, the press release said that they are trying, they are going to have a new membership option. Yeah, um, new membership uh, option. So I'm sure there'll be something, and they'll name it something cutesy, and that'll be that. Now, do I think Disney World is going to get rid of their annual passes? No, I don't. I think we'll see the elimination of some of the cheaper annual passes. Or some of the, like, half-step upgrades. Yeah, I think there'll be less options. And, and for those that are not a Florida resident, you're probably like, what other options are there? There are tons of annual pass options that are so much cheaper than Platinum or Platinum Plus. Well, Platinum Plus isn't even a thing right now. Um, when we were cast members, we actually had annual passes just because... We had an annual pass and then we weren't planning to be cast members and then we were so we kept them glad we did um but there's a gold pass that you can get if you are local or a dvc member i think we'll see that one stay but i think we'll see silver go away i think we'll see the weekday one go away because I mean, they've been doing a lot of the this Discover Florida ticket, yeah. which is an incredible deal. It really is. Um, but they're not losing as much money as they do with those other people that have, like, the super cheap pass. Right. So. I don't think Walt Disney World will get rid of annual passes. I mean, they would literally struggle, especially right now. So I don't think um, that that's a thing. But you never know. I'm gonna add tell you something. Huh. I'm really excited for Hawaii. I know. <laughs> I was really starting to doubt if it was going to happen. I was getting a little nervous. And I still haven't told him everything that you guys know yet, but that'll be what we do before we go to bed. I'm also super excited because I love Hawaiian shave ice. And I noticed that their shaved ice stand is open at the resort. And I mean, we're going to go get some like real stuff too. But I'm excited to have the availability of it right there. And 
I saw that guava is a flavor option. You don't like guava? No. Well, lily koi is a flavor. That's the juice you like. Oh. Mm -hmm. He'll get excited when he actually has it in front of him and can eat it. Anyway. That's all for Disney news. I guess we can just sign off because we're literally going to just go over there and go to bed. <laughs> so we'll see you tomorrow. Everyone needs deadlines. Bye-bye. Thanks for coming to the show. Ask for a look. What did he say? Ask for a look.